Welcome to Lecture Online. Here we're going to talk about what we call the language of math. We sometimes see word problems or expressions or any kind of problem where they see where you will see the words like added to, subtracted from, the difference between one number and another number and so forth. And we need to know how to interpret that, how to actually put that into an equation format or how we can actually work out the problem that way. When we see something that says added to a number, it could be an unknown number, it could be a known number, let's say the number 10, how do you write that? Well, added to means you're going to add something to that number, therefore you write 10 plus whatever you're adding to that. If you say subtracted from a number, in this case the number 10, then you would write this as 10 minus whatever you subtracted from 10. So added to means you add something to the number 10, subtracted from means you're going to subtract something from the number 10. If somebody says the difference between two numbers, for example, the difference between 10 and 5, then you're going to have a subtraction, and you put the first number first and the last number last. So this means 10 minus 5, not the other way around. And that's sometimes very confusing. When you see the difference between two numbers, you write the first number first, the last number last, and you write a subtraction sign between them. Twice a number, let's say we have the number 10. If twice the number, that means two times that number, like that. Or sometimes we write out two times the number, and then you would write exactly the same thing, two times that number. And finally, sometimes you'll see the expression two more than something else. In this case, two more than 10. The way you write that is you write the number 10 and then you add plus two. This means two more than 10. So even though the, the language goes from left to right, the way we tend to write it is from right to left. So two more than 10 means 10 and then you add two more to that. And that's how we interpret the language of mathematics. Now there's some additional expressions we're going to show you that are a little bit more complicated and once we've done that we're going to give you a whole set of exercises to see if you can actually work out the proper expression in mathematics based upon how the words are written. So there's a start and we'll show you some more examples in the next several videos. That's how it's done.